Today, I'm going to talk all about how to get rid of two of the major weeds we're going to be seeing in the summer, and that is crabgrass and yellow nut sedge. So let's get out of the weeds. I'd like to thank you guys for coming back for yet another video. If you guys like the videos that I'm putting out, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. At the beginning of the year, I put out a video about putting down our pre-emergent, primarily focused on uh, taking care of the crabgrass we're going to be seeing in our lawn as we get later into the year. Well, in that video, I talked about how I recommend actually split, uh, breaking it up into two different applications, uh, doing one at the beginning of the year when I did it, and then doing another one once you get closer to around Memorial Day. And so now we're getting to that time to where if you're gonna be doing the split applications, now is about the time to start putting down that second application. For this video though, I'm going to focus on the weeds that the pre-emergent didn't take care of. And so it's gonna to happen to all of us. We're putting down our pre-emergent, we think we got it good, but there's still gonna be some crabgrass that sneaks through. For some of you, it might look like it's a lot of crabgrass sneaking through, and some of you may be brand new to this, so you don't even know what a pre-emergent is yet. And so this is actually for those of you who are gonna be seeing crabgrass in your lawn. Is there still something that you can do to help take care of the crabgrass? And thankfully, there is, and it can be quite effective if you catch it in time. So now, as I've been kind of walking around my neighborhood uh, and looking around at different lawns, I'm starting to actually start seeing the crabgrass uh, start to grow uh, in lawns. And so I'll show you some pictures here on the screen of what it's gonna look like in the early stages when you first start seeing it and kind of some hot spots to look for is look for areas up against your curbs or your sidewalks uh, because those are areas where the temperature is going to be a little bit warmer there and so you're going to be seeing weeds there before you usually see in the rest of your lawn and also look for areas that are thin or bare spots in your lawn because crabgrass is very opportunistic and loves to fill in those spots where there's not strong grass. Now when it comes to crabgrass it's extremely important to catch it early because if you don't catch it early, the products that you get from the store are not going to be that effective on the crabgrass. And so you do not want to wait too long and let the crabgrass get too far along because you're going to have a really hard time getting rid of, rid of the crabgrass uh, that you have in your lawn. Crabgrass is an annual weed, so that means that at the first frost, that plant is going to die off and then it, the seeds that it produced and laid in your lawn are going to be what shows up for next year. And so it's important to catch crabgrass before it seeds because it's a really good seeder and can really take over your lawn if you're not careful. The good thing about that though is that if you do catch it, you can really start preventing the crabgrass in your lawn from it ever being a problem. So about a month ago or so, I did a video on killing uh, weeds in your lawn, primarily focused on dandelion. Now, the weed controls that I showed in there, some of them may actually take care of crabgrass, but here's a few things that I want you to look for. So here's an example of, of a weed control that is shown for dandelions, but look, it also shows for crabgrass here as well. And so this is one that you may have bought in the spring to take out your dandelions, but will also have some effect on the crabgrass. The thing I want you to pay attention to is that anything in store, you're looking for the active ingredient quinclorac. And so anytime you see it in the store, if it's going to be fighting for crabgrass, almost always going to see a quinclorac in the ingredients. If it's not in there, then you may be having a weed control that is not going to be fighting the crabgrass because that's the primarily one that you're going to be seeing uh, in your local stores. So once you verify that you have a weed control uh, that is targeted towards crabgrass, go ahead and start to spray it. A couple of things that you want to pay attention to though is make sure it's not on a day where the temperature is above 85 degrees. Uh, then also you want to make sure that you don't mow for two days after you spray. So once you spray, make sure you're waiting at least two days until you mow again. And then another very important thing is you want to make sure that you don't get any rain for 24 hours after your application. So you do not want to be watering your lawn in or getting any rain in the forecast the 
for 24 hours after you spray for your crabgrass because you want to make sure that the product gets in there and starts taking out the crabgrass that's there. Lastly, after you spray the crabgrass, once it starts working on the crabgrass, the crabgrass will tend to turn white in color. And so don't expect after you spray crabgrass that's in your lawn that the crabgrass is just going to, you're going to spray it and then one day you're going to walk out and it'll be gone. You can expect to see the crabgrass plant still there probably throughout the rest of the season. It'll just be more of a white in color as it's still slowly starting to take effect uh, in the plant. But for the most part, you're really aiming to keep the crabgrass from seeding and to prevent it from happening in the future. So then after a few years of kind of going through the lawn cycle through the season, you're able to pretty much for the most part have a crabgrass free lawn. The next weed that can absolutely wreak havoc on your lawn, and it's personally my favorite weed, and that is yellow nut sedge. Yellow nut sedge is a weed that you're going to see primarily in areas of poor drainage or where areas just where water mostly sits. And so that's where you will see them. You'll also get them just in well irrigated lawns because nut sedge loves water to get established, but once established, it can thrive even in more drought like conditions. So you can look for it early on, kind of in those areas where there's just kind of sitting water. Um, but as you go throughout the season, you will start to see it all throughout your lawn. The easiest way to identify uh, yellow nut sedge is by its one, its lime green color, and then also whenever it's in your lawn, uh, it grows faster than the rest of your good grass grows. So you will actually, as you go kind of throughout the summer here, you'll mow your grass and then you'll look like a day or, or two later and you'll see like just little pieces that are sticking up throughout your lawn that are kind of a lime green color. And that's an easy indication that you have yellow nut sedge growing just because it grows faster than uh, all of our good grass in our lawn. This morning, I recently uh, hopped on my bike because I know there was a few areas in my neighborhood of people who had some yellow nut sedge problems in the past. And so I wanted to take a look and see uh, if they were actually having the yellow nut sedge start to pop up here again. And so I'll show you some pictures here of what I found. And you can see that, that it's really starting to take off kind of in those areas. It grows kind of in groups um, and it can really, really uh, be a problem in your lawn. And so actually, I actually have a nut sedge problem of my own that I, ha I haven't really taken care of yet because I thought it would be a good uh, thing to include on this video here. And it's actually here in my flower bed. If you look here, I have an irrigation head right here. And so it gets a lot of water throughout here just because it's so close to an irrigation head. And you can see all throughout this little section of my flower bed, that's all yellow nut sedge all through in there. And so I'll grab a piece and pull it up. And so there you go. And so this is this is what yellow nut sedge looks like. You can just tell it's a completely different you can just tell it's a completely different color uh, than our good grass down here. It doesn't blend in with it at all at, at all. So now like crabgrass, nut sedge is another one that's very important to try to catch it early before it gets too far gone because it will spread. And nut sedge is actually a perennial. And so if you just leave it there, the stuff that grows there will come back next year and just keep on uh, growing and spreading all throughout the areas. And so you want to take it out uh, quickly and early as early as possible in the season. Now you can pull nut sedge, but the problem is, is if you don't get the little nutlet that's in the ground, uh, it can just grow right back. And so you won't really actually be taking out that plant. You'll see that they pull up real easy, but a lot of times you end up just pulling off the leaf blades and you're not actually getting what's in the soil. The important thing to know about nut sedge is that whenever you're buying a weed control from the store, you need to make sure that it's actually targeting nut sedge. Nut sedge isn't a broadleaf weed, so your normal broadleaf weed controls that you'll buy from the store won't necessarily be targeting nut sedge. They will usually have it advertised separately. That, or you will need to actually buy something specific 
just to target the nutsedge by itself. So as I was in the store, I was looking around at some of the options uh, that we have as homeowners just in our local stores. And one of the ones I found was just this ortho nut sedge killer. And so it primarily is just focusing mainly on nut sedge just because it's in a whole different category of itself as far as weeds go. Now this stuff will kill some other weeds. It has listed on here like wild violet, dollar weed, some other weeds. But primarily when you buy something like this, you're looking to target nut sedge. Now, my personal favorite, partly because of the name and partly because of its effectiveness, when you have nut sedge, you bust out the sedge hammer. And so right here we got sedge hammer plus. So I've usually just always bought it online off of Amazon. And so what you do is you get this little packet here. This is just kind of a one-time use application to take out all your nut sedge uh, in your lawn. So what you'll do is you'll take this little packet and you will put this in with a gallon uh, tank sprayer. And so you can buy just a real cheap gallon tank sprayer uh, in the hardware stores uh, for not very much money at all. And so you could just fill it up with water dump the powder into it, fill it up to a gallon. So that one packet makes one gallon of spray. And so you'll fill it up to a gallon and now you have a gallon of product to spray on the nut sedge in your yard. And so normally what I'll do is if I see like spots of nut sedge all throughout my lawn in different areas, I'll go make a gallon of it. And then having a gallon that's pretty much only targeting nut sedge is plenty for me to be able to cover all the nut sedge I might have throughout my yard or any kind of heavier areas like you've seen in my flower bed. And so if you have a nut sedge problem, my number one recommendation to bust out the sedge hammer. So perfect areas that you, you will normally see it is again up against curbs because it likes to take advantage of where there's not dense turf. My turf is real dense all through here so it can't really get through. But you can see this lime green grass right here on the edge. And so that's just perfect indication that I got a little uh, thing of nut sedge growing. And so you can see it right here. Here's this nut sedge, here's another. Here's another little, another little one, pull out, so. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to uh, help assist you guys. And so I'll see you guys next time when we get out of the weeds and into a beautiful lawn. Mm -hmm.